the world used to be such a simple place to live in. And then as soon as I started getting older and older, it got more and more confusing. And I started fighting my thoughts in my own head and different ideals in my own head. It was a back and forth of just... So this side was always just trying to free myself from everything and just be on a different planet, basically. And this side was always just talking about, no, 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 like the rules are in place for a reason. So it, it makes sense. And, you know, I would I would lean toward this side and be like, oh, yeah, it makes sense in my head now. And then I would go back to this side and be like, oh, no, this nothing makes sense here. So it must fully be this. And then I would just always be fighting my two thoughts in my head about thinking about like, oh, like who's right? What's right? And I'm starting to realize like through all that head noise and fighting in my head, I'm starting to realize that no one is really right about anything. And I truthfully don't believe, I, I, once I realize like n neither side is correct, you kind of have a freeing sort of feeling in your head. And it's kind of like, but, it, but then what happens is it gets kind of deeper in your head. Well, that's what happened for me. You start thinking, like, what are we doing on this planet? Or what am I truthfully here to do? And what is my purpose? And, you know, I feel like that's when you start to kind of find yourself a little bit. Because once you've kind of let go of both ideals and you've let go of other people's mantras and I ideologies and focuses and rights and wrongs, you kind of start to realize, like, what, am, what, do, what, do, what does Taryn want to do on Earth? What am I interested in? You kind of start thinking on a deeper because you're already here on planet Earth. You're already here. I mean, like the, the if you're already here, you might as well make the most of it. Right. And that's when you start kind of thinking to yourself, like, huh, what do I enjoy? What kind of life do I want to live? That's when I started to realize, like, huh, this is like this is what I enjoy. Talking. Creating trying you know what i mean but it's it, it, it it's just a funny thing because it's like okay you get to a point of exhaustion at exhaustion at one point in your head because a lot of the like for for people that don't really have that many people that they can talk to i truthfully understand how it feels to be kind of alone but during that alone time as well I feel like that's when everything starts clicking as well, because it's like, oh, I'm alone, so I might as well make myself my own best friend. That's where a lot of the, like, quote unquote, like, anxious feelings goes away, because when you start understanding, like, oh, start accepting yourself, like, oh, yeah, I might have done some things wrong in the past, or I made mistakes, but boom 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 and you kind of have a talk with yourself in a way you start to kind of embrace yourself and you kind of understand like oh but you, you might be a little bit more complicated you might not be black and white i feel like social media and content creation right now and a lot of the things we see is is labeling and a lot of it is like oh you're this you're this and like in reality like a human being is consisted of so many different things like you could you could enjoy like gaming, but then also enjoy like, like, like surfing. And then on top of that, you're interested in like anime. And then on top of that, you're interested in like, I don't know. <laughs> like, I have no idea, but I can't think of the top of my head right now, even though I've just been saying random stuff, candles or something. I don't know. But you know what I mean? It's like a, you're a complex human being. So it's, it's, it, I think it's a good good thing to understand that and like understand yourself in that matter and not put yourself as a black and white tool to society and understand that you have more to offer and i feel like that's a lot of it too is like i f for me at least it's like oh if i don't have anything that's on my mind that i want to chase or move towards it's like what am i doing on earth like where's my passion lie and it's not that I'm a person that's like, work, like I used to think that I used to watch a lot of like fake, I used to watch a lot of people speak and like gurus and 
take their advice and all this stuff. I used to think it was just like, oh yeah, just work as hard as you possibly can. Wake up at the correct times, drink the right amount of water, eat the right amount of foods, this, this, black and white, black and white, black and white, and you will become that image. And I'm not saying it's not true, but I'm also saying like, you also have to listen to your soul. I would say just put your put your soul and hearts, minds, desires first in a positive sense. Hopefully you understand what I mean by that, because there's a lot of there's a lot of bad things on the planet. Well, I label them as bad, but without the bad, there is no good. And then with the good, there's no bad. But you know what I kind of am referring to Um I think it's important that you kind of see what's what's healthy for you as well. So your heart might desire something, but make sure you're also kind of putting your best foot forward, which can be hard to do. I understand when there's just so much going on in everyone's lives and you're seeing this and then you see your, but your friends do this. So you're going to just do it anyways. And da, 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 there's just a lot of noise. <sighs> yeah. I just, um, I don't really know what this video has been about. I'll be completely honest. I just kind of wanted to say like, there's a lot of, there's a lot of everything. And that can become overstimulating unless you find what your reason of doing things is. I think that's well put. I think that's good. Goodly put. Yeah. Well, wow. It's been your boy Terno one. Uh, there's some late night thoughts in my head and, um, appreciate you guys watching. Follow my Twitch. Follow my Instagram and follow my Discord. Love you. Peace out. Subscribe. Like.